Hey, what's up everybody? David Wood here for DavidWoodFX.Blogspot.com to bring you tutorial 2.5 in my Teen Titans tutorial series. This tutorial will be recreating the powers of Starfire, which I already did a tutorial on the energy around her hand, but this tutorial will focus on the star bolts that she actually throws. Um, in the show, there's a couple different variations. Sometimes it's like these little discs that she throws. Sometimes it's more of a beam. And those are cool, but they don't look very good when you use an actual photo. So I decided to come up with my own effect, and this is the result that I got. It seems much more uh, authentic. It looks more like a fireball, I think. So that is what we will be creating today, as well as her sister Blackfire's effect. Um, it's the exact same technique, just using different colors. So as we go, I'll explain t what colors to use. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to use a 640 by 400 image and we want the background to be black and the first thing we do is create a new transparent layer and use the free select tool and draw an ice cream cone on its side so just like that we're going to draw a shape that sort of looks like an ice cream cone just like that and we want to fill that in with a base color and the base color that we're using for this is A5 double F double zero. Now if we were doing Blackfire's power, we would be using DF7 D double F, which is a light purple. So fill that in with A5 double F double zero, and then we can select none. Now what we need to do is go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and give this a blur of 20 to 30. Now if you have a larger image, you'll have to adjust it to fit it correctly but basically all we're doing with this is we're just removing those sharp edges and just trying to round it out a little more so that looks pretty good and duplicate the layer and turn off the bottom switch and then create a new layer above the other layers it doesn't matter what color you fill it with and go to filters render clouds solid noise in here we want to set the detail to 15 and check the randomize and turbulent options on and the X and Y size will vary depending on the size of the image. Usually somewhere between like 4 and 8 will work the best. And hit OK. There we go, and we can see the effect. And we can turn the layer off, and we'll duplicate that layer, and just go to Filters, Repeat Solid Noise, or Control F. And it will run the filter again, and it will choose a different cloud seed, so the result will be different. Once we have those two layers created, right-click on that second uh, shape layer and choose alpha to selection and then go to each of the cloud layers and go to edit clear and this will cut a hole where the effect is and go to filters map displace and in here we don't really need any of the X displacement so we'll leave that alone the Y displacement will probably place that somewhere between 15 and 20 and we want to select the first noise layer. So the X displacement somewhere between 15 and 20, uh, or the Y displacement. X displacement can be anywhere. It doesn't make a whole lot of difference in this case. And hit OK. And there you can see some of the detail of a cloud texture, just to give it a nice appearance. And we'll go to filters, reshow displace and this time we want to displace it in the opposite direction so take the Y displacement and give it a negative value so a negative value of somewhere around 20 and choose the second cloud layer and hit OK and turn on that first layer and again you can take the second layer here and duplicate it distort it some more using the displace filters and have as many as you want and go into as much detail as you want but I'm just going to use just those two and once this is done you can merge these two layers together and we'll rename this layer base now we'll duplicate this base layer and the bottom layer we'll rename glow and that top one is base and we'll select the bottom one and lock the alpha of the layer and we will choose a glow color now for Starfires we use 17 double F double zero. It's a almost pure green. 
if we were doing black fires, we would use a darker purple, which is AE double zero double F. So there's star fires. And edit, fill with foreground color. And there you can see it filled that effect in. We can uncheck the alpha switch. And if we turn the base layer back on, we can see that, that glow showing around the edges of the image, just like that. And then we'll blur the glow layer. So once again, bring up Gaussian Blur. And we'll give this a blur of somewhere between 50 and 60 for this size image, and hit OK. Next, what we'll do is we will make two new blank layers above the base layer. Select the base layer, right click and choose Alpha to Selection. Go to Select Shrink, and depending on the size of the image, you want the selection to be about half the size of what's in here, or what the uh, current selection is. And this size image 10 works pretty well. Select that first blank layer and fill it with white. Go to Select Shrink, and uh, this time the shrinking will be by 5. Again, depending on the image you're using, it could be different. Choose the second blank layer and fill that with white as well. And then select None. And turn off the top blank layer. And this second layer, we will take this layer and play with the blend modes of this layer. So we can uh, set it on Overlay, or Dodge, or Grain Merge. But depending on how bright you want that center to be will depend on what you choose. Overlay is a little softer. It's not quite as bright as putting it on Dodge. Dodge makes it very yellow. And Grain Merge just kind of brightens the overall image. It doesn't make it a hot spot or a hotter color. It just lightens it up. So um, Overlay or Dodge, and then you can play with opacities as well. I think Dodge works pretty well at 80% for this particular image. And then we will turn on that top layer. So again, that's the base layer. And then there's a white layer above that set on Dodge for this particular example. And then the top hot spot in the middle there is just on normal. And again, depending on if you're doing star fires or black fires, it will depend on what blend modes you use. So always play around with it and experiment. Next what we'll do is we'll merge these layers together. So merge the base to the glow and then merge these uh, hot spot layers together. So we have it just on one layer. We can do layer, auto crop layer. So it'll make it easier just to move around and see the edges of the image. And the last thing that we'll do is we'll create a new layer and fill it with black. And then we will take the gradient tool and uh, choose a white to transparent gradient. So foreground to transparent, make sure the foreground is white. Set on radial and just make a small circle a little bit bigger than the front of the image. You can set this blend mode on screen and you can see what you're doing. So something like that works pretty well. And there you've got the edge. And then you can blur this layer. So a soft Gaussian blur of about 30 will get rid of that harsh edge. And then go to colors color balance and just give it a green tint. And you can play with preserve luminosity if you want. And just fool around with that until you're happy with it. Like, I think that looks kind of cool. It looks like the Mountain Dew colors. And we'll just set the blend mode on screen. And there you have it. Now, if that was Blackfires, of course, you would change the color to purple instead. And that is all there is to that effect. Merge that down onto the other layer. Add it to your pictures, and it will look pretty cool. And also, you can take this effect and just, once everything is done, you can make it orange and then just rotate it on its side and you'll have a fireball or a meteor shower. So, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Um, the next tutorial will be on Cyborg's Blaster Cannon, and that should be up sometime next week. Meanwhile, be sure to follow me on Twitter at DJWFX and on DeviantArt at DavidWoodFX.DeviantArt.com. And I'm David Wood, and I will see you guys next time.